Good morning on a Friday and I'm going to share with you three leadership tips in three minutes again. The first leadership tip is about having a can-think attitude rather than a can-do attitude. And it references a book which I think I've spoken about before that I'm currently reading called The Leadership is Language. And one of the chapters in there talks about the loss of a ship called the El Faro. Now in 2015, the El Faro set off on its journey, a container ship, and the captain made a decision uh, to take the ship on the speediest path. But the problem was this took the ship very close to a storm. And there were points on the journey where they could have revised their path, um, but people felt uncomfortable cha challenging the captain and the captain felt uncomfortable changing his decision. So unfortunately, the ship and all 32 people on the ship perished. Now, what do we take away from this? I think it's that, that term from the book, can think rather than can do, because I think can do can be a great attitude. But the problem is when you just push ahead because you've made a decision and you just feel that you need to push through and get closure on that decision. But what if that decision was wrong? And it's really important to be able to check that and sense check that before pushing ahead. And I think in the current climate, that's really important for us all in terms of our strategy. The strategy we may have had before this current crisis and the recession we will move into uh, could have been the right one. It isn't the right one necessarily now. So pause and take time to reflect on your strategy. The second um, thought for today is through all of this to look for ideas to collaborate with others. Don't think, that particularly if you're a micro business or a, or a solo business, that you have to do this all on your own. And it could be interesting to collaborate with others. I'm actually working with another trainer, leadership trainer, John Davis from Get The Edge at the moment on a new proposition. And we're having um, some fun and I think it's been really good to actually share our collective uh, experience or whatever on something and bring something really good to help leaders in the future. So look out there for ideas um, and companies that you could potentially collaborate with during this. It may well be as well, this could save you both if you're both in difficult territory by coming up with something new uh, collectively together. And my final tip today is for um, leaders and owners of businesses where you've got people. One of my clients this week we were speaking about um, their strategy and some ideas, but what they're going to do also is have some downtime with the people and actually uh, have almost like a think tank session where they're going to share some ideas on what, they, what they're proposing to do and see what the team think of that, but also see what the team have in terms of ideas. There's an, a wealth of expertise and experience in your people. You don't need to just decide the strategy yourself. I mean, that, that is the case always, I would say. But particularly at the moment, allow your people a voice and allow them to bring their ideas to the table about new products and services where you might position yourself differently. So I, find, I, I trust and hope you find those um, three tips today useful and I'll see you next Friday.